You know I gotta check in, you know I gotta check in. So yo, I think I just did one of my favorite performances in France. <laughs> I think I outdid myself tonight. I think I outdid my expectations tonight. It's um it's crazy that you know the shows are so you know entertaining the dancers them um the dancers the DJ everybody was on point tonight it's like a football game everybody played their part you know different different parts that everybody had to fill introduced a new artist on the stage her name is Shelly um not Shelly Shirley <laughs> Shirley yeah man she's a an upcoming artist you know I have luck with the ladies then when it comes on to music Jovi Rockwell Lottie J yeah I think this um, it's going to be a big situation for her. She was introduced to this massive crowd tonight. Um, but yeah, man. France. Yeah. It was real crazy. It was real, real crazy. Trust me. It was real crazy. And the good thing is I still have my voice. I'm advising artists to invest in an in-ear monitor is very very important because when we go on the road and we do not take our engineers um the engineers on the road maybe they cannot mix um properly to have our voices over you know the beat and coming through the the system so um i'll advise every artist to invest in an in-ear monitor let's get a good one we can stay in your ears Be very careful though you know, you have to basically know to use it because the first time I bought one, the engineer almost blew out, almost blew out my um, eardrum the first time I used it. So I didn't use it for years. But now I realize that I have to just turn my volume down on it and take my time and increase the volume. You know, yeah. So tonight was a real, 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 real good show. A real good show tonight. It was a real vibe, a real vibe. So even though we are compromised on the social media because, you know, all my pages are compromised, all my pages. But, you know, the original dancehall fans, them the most in, in the world. And it's good. Contrary to when enough of the idiot them believe, so. uh, music stop upon them like a social media page. You know, music bigger than that. Music is way bigger than that, way, way bigger than that. And we big up all of the fans and we still support real dancehall. We still love the music. I understand what I'm So, that is where it's at. That is definitely where it's at. Yeah. So when you're talking about performers, yeah, I'm not thinking about the you know, performers awards that I'm giving out and I have to remember that you have people like Mr. Vegas and Capleton out there who's, who are still a busy signal out there who are still some of the great performers, performers out there Anthony B you know are some great performers out there because they don't really um, see them or they don't try to see them on stage but in dance hall you have some real performers, you see, out there working the circuit. Great performers, still are done the place. Conscience is another youth to go on. You know, real, real good performer on the circuit. So, um, when I'm just doing the research, yeah, when I'm not talking about, you know, performers of the year and all them things, when I'm doing the research, doing the research, you see. Doing the research before I put fuck out there. Because I know some man can perform like keep it on lick a finger. Not even close. Not even close. 
not even close. So I say, I say that without no form of reservation. So I say, mm hmm. I see a whole lot of things going on in this piece. But I forgot to address some of them um, in the coming week because you know we love to speak on the social, the social topics. And one, one social, one of, one of the things that we see continue to do the round and it's swelling, it's even getting bigger. Is the um, Erica Mina story that's not going away? That's not going nowhere. That's not, that's not going anywhere. That's not going nowhere. <laughs> yep. She's um, officially um, cancelled. Erica Mina is officially cancelled. Just have to know, say, yo, be careful with your words, them, you know? You gotta be very careful with your words, them. Yeah. But as me, they tell me, say, it's just an, it's just an uneducated plantation negro. And she'll get to find out now, say, um, she's just a plantation negro. That is it, you know? She just is finding out the hard way that she's still from the plantation. You know what I'm <laughs> Erica Mina is just now finding out that she's from the plantation. You mm see? -hmm. Yep. Big Zaddy ain't gonna stand up for you now, sister. Them set, them set the trap for you and you fall right into it. They set the trap for you. You fell right into it. You mm see? -hmm. But it's a reminder that all the people who think that they are, you know, better than dark skinned people because they have a little light complexion, let this be a lesson to you. Yep. Can I hear what happened now? Still, Erzadi, Masa, who controls the finances. He's still running the show. And nobody ain't talking about that part. I wonder if you understand why I really like one. Big up night nurse. Her zaddy is still running the show. The clip is still available. Hmm? So ask yourself the question, why is Uncle Eric alone getting cancelled? What about the producer? That them say come from Haiti, or have Haitian background. The producer did not hear that or see that. So why the producer still able to keep our job the first person that should be fired is the producer Fox and that episode should have never been released with them calling black people because now it's them you know. we're looking at Erica we're not looking at them they called a black woman blue monkey they not just Erica it came out of Erica's mouth but MTV the producer 
the um, the franchise, all of them are just as guilty as the woman who said it. We can't even go on MTV as Caribbean people to perform in any outfit or use any type of language that they deemed inappropriate. Our Caribbean people cannot go on none of these networks. Um, none of these networks and, um, and wear short up things, wind up. When we do music videos, we can't have girls shaking ass. If a girl is shaking her ass, she has to turn her head and look in the camera so they can see her face and her ass at the same time. So ask yourself the question, why is MTV still hearing it? Why was it aired on MTV? Why is the producer still able to keep her job? Why Spice don't quit the show? It's bigger than Erica. You see, everyone now is coming and talking about Oh, she said that? I can't believe she said that. I notice everybody will try to stand up with Erica when they realize that they are going to get cancelled too. You hear them now? Oh, I didn't watch the footage. <laughs> Here's him in Tamar Braxton. Come out as she has stand up with Erica and realize it. Tamara Braxton realized that, yo, this is too hot to handle. I may get myself cancelled. She just backed up quick and fast. She backed up quick and fast and find Spice quick and fast and say, Spice, let me bring you on. Let me bring you on and let us do an interview. And because Spice loved the, the limelight, she run down to the interview. She didn't realize you saved the woman and try to save herself. She fooled your fuck. You don't realize you saved them and try to save themselves. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm You know what I'm saying? 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 A little thing I realized that the backlash too. Too much. And she just called you. To come, to come save her. And you run out like Jesus to save her. You know why? Because when them say Jamaican people, them things say we are just the Rasta, weed smoker, them ganja smoker, them bad man. Talk your mama, talk your mama people. Them things say we are just that. Yep. You can't go see if tomorrow breaks. I make tomorrow breaks. Then come on, come apologize for now. When you can but of course, this bigger than you. This bigger than you. You don't even understand. Until you quit the show and walk away with your heads high. I don't see it now that way. That way I see it now. All I want to in it together. All I want to know exactly what was going to happen. All I want to plan it out and it just went too far. Yeah. But the problem with it is it offended or it offends we as black people. This bigger than your spice. But it's bigger than your sister. This are just you have done what has, what has happened to you, you know? This has been happening to um, black people for years. You understand what I say? It's bigger than you, sister. It's bigger than you. Because we the the the, the Africans when me just come off a stage and still I talk about it, we, I may not think of me alone. I hopefully I'm not alone. I, I, Erica, Erica, me, I wish I was showing her name. She just had like a plantation, um, light skin. 
you know, where things she 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 she, she, she don't want to be. It's just a level of literacy, and people, I see people trying to argue with me that uh, she's not a black woman. Bigger than one, yeah? This bigger than one. Oh, it's bigger than one. It's bigger than one. But we, me hope say other people want, want answers to. We, what do you say the girl name? Rona, Rona Fox, that's what she name? What the woman, the producer name? Rona Fox. When them say aviation background, if I'm a phone, uh, everybody I cancel Erica. I want to know what happened to the franchise as a black man. As a matter of fact, Mona, Mona Scott. Thank you, good girl, Mona Scott. They said she has um Haitian yeah, background. Now Miss R Miss Mona Scott, if you really have Asian background, you see, and you let this fly to the point where it actually came out on a, on, a, on an episode, this came out on an episode. You were directly connected to Dessaline's two son. Dessaline, two son, and all the, si the sisters back in the days who stood in front of the battle and stood up to the oppressors and to see what they have turned Haiti into. If you are really, you know, from that region or you know or have any form of relationship with the Asian them you should be ashamed of yourself and while it can be said that you did not see the final cut you're supposed to see it if you are the producer you're supposed to see that that means you're not supposed to be the producer of the show Miss Mona Scott me not tap talk until you have to give some answers I mean, what a little voice here. I go, go, go do a short video and post it. I do a short video because I want some answers. Cody Thompson said, This man just wants to talk. Then I talk, I talk, um, Cody. I talk, I talk, you know. But you think you can put up a light, light picture and fool me? You know, I put up my light picture and fool my sister. So go and put up your light picture and think so you yeah, fool nobody. You know that I could have talk? Hmm? Because it's funny to you. It's funny to you. But it's not funny anymore, you know? It's not funny anymore. You see? So you can't stay there. You can't stay there. This, this, this. This needs... All of the quote unquote activists them to get answers. All the quote unquote activists them, where well, there's a talk about Black Lives Matter and all of that shit. This needs some answers. How did this get past the producer? Why is it still being aired on MTV? Those are two fundamental questions. The third one is why Spy still the punish you? You see? That are the answers that we me have as a black man. You see? Because there is a history. There is a history of prejudice yeah with some of these networks when it comes down to black people and their music and the way we dress and all them things there there's a level of prejudice prejudice over the years with these networks against African people black people if you may 
Ja? Big up yourself, Rian, Rian Joe. Yeah, man, was epic. The performance was epic tonight. Queen Shack, Nicole, bless you. Reaching now, Vegas. Them not give a shit because people been their own demise. And while you, while you may think, Miss, Miss Blessed, that you're onto something and you're correcting your assessment, that is subjective. That is subjective, sister. Because the fact that you said black people been their own demise, that means they are group up the whole away. And while we use those words, you know, we have to be very careful in a situation like this when we are use them words. Like, I would love to say, yo, we have our own downfall and, we, and we, yeah, we use those words, but guess what? You have some astute Africans. You have some Africans where stand for something. In other words, if you never stand for something, you wouldn't be typing that. So that means that you know, include yourself in other black people will contribute to them own demise. Because if you did include yourself in other the assessment there, you wouldn't type it so. So the mere fact that you don't see yourself as a part of the problem, then you're supposed to have a problem with what's happening. You see? And this is with you, you know. And I'm part of it there with you. But I'm going to do a short video and post it. Because I want Mona Scott, IMTV, and the franchise, Love and Hip Hop, no more. While it may be looked at like, oh, you did the right thing and fire Eric Amina, no, some more people must get fired. Or some more people should resign. Yeah. Because MTV would not hear a song where anybody calling anyone Blue Monkey. They would not hear a song. Well, maybe they would because with them hear a song where we are calling each other Negroes. So let me take that back. But they would not hear a song with anybody that discriminate against the Jews or Muslims or those groups that really stand for something. You see? So it's very, very important for Mona Scott and all these and the network and the producers and the editors them. They, we need some answers. Did you see the footage? Did you hear what she said? Did you think it was appropriate to put that edit forward? Nobody caught that. So now you're going to be having more viewers because now people are interested in this drama. So now you're going to benefit from this because people are not going to tune in to see what's going to happen next so you get the benefit and you get more ratings and more viewers at the expense of a, a Jamaican with somebody called a blue monkey I mean I think that's right I don't think that is right. I don't think this should be a situation with lying on a pocket. Facts. Or maybe somebody will catch on to it, you know. Maybe one of the bigger voices then will catch on to it. You see? Maybe one of the bigger voices then will catch on to it. You see? And ask some questions. You 
things, eh? Oh, we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to save this. And I'm going to come back and talk about Brother Polite. All right?